there used to be this meme, there are no girls online. When was that meme? That meme was like pre-social media. It, see, men are kind of, if you look at the d data, they're kind of very diverse around, they're more diverse around the internet. They're in different spots. But uh, women are typically, especially young ones, they're like, they're situated to few apps like TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, whatever. So they're more, they're more situated through like a very narrow field. So, you know, where the higher engagement is with the female users is social media. They actually have higher engagement on those platforms than males profiles do. And that's obvious because as a woman, you're validated so much on those platforms and okay, it's kind of become like a drug. Well, a male, you're kind of ignored. You'll have like one notification. Like, have you seen that picture of like woman on Facebook versus men? Like if men want to, if you want to try a pool where you have better chances, it's going to be social media. That's what the data says. That's what, you know, we have quantitative data on that. You're not going to try. But see, online dating is a low barrier to entry. That's why so many men like it. Oh, oh you just downloaded it 40 and deleted it 40 times. You can't do yeah. that with social media. You lose yeah. everything. Well, you can, but you, it's, it's, it's much different. Your social media profile is like 10 years, you know, 12 years. You know, people, once they, like, get a cell phone for the first time, which is very young now, they're on social media. It's, it's like it's like a resume. Right. And online dating apps are kind of like, they're kind of like fast food, basically. Um, you just get it fast and you throw it away fast. But, yeah, women are engaged on social media platforms. And the more common thing uh, uh, for this TFL insult community that I've found, and I've seen I've seen a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people, the, the more common thing is not is not that a person looks bad. It's a person. Here's the most common factor I've noticed in the insult community. It's not having social media or having like a really like not active one, whatever. Look, that's right. not going to suffice. If you want to compete in the dating market, um, you have to you have to have everything in check. You can't you can't leave that off. You can't expect to like be a ghost online and to be like found. Like the, a lot of these guys want to like hide in the basement and get all their plastic surgery. Like you have to do everything. You have to do. That's the thing, and if you're not willing to do that, then then be expect to be alone. Expect to be alone. You know, that's it's okay. getting harder every year, and it, and it require and you're fishing the wrong pools if you're doing social media, uh, and then Facebook kind of has died for the younger generation. Yeah, it, it's 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 def, it's like a boomer rage machine now. Uh, right now, here, here's the game: is like people are just like people in the chat. Somebody mentioned Snapchat and Instagram. Like, dude, that's like 2017. That's 2018. Yeah. It's TikTok now. You better have like a TikTok profile. You're you're uploading funny. That see see it gets harder and harder. And then Instagram Snap. It, Instagram. Okay, you start have to have like a. You have to have the looks. You have to have the life. You have to have the so like you still have. It, it gets hard. And now TikTok. You have to do these videos. Oh boy, because <laughs> because yeah. every guy's flexing on there. And that's the thing is that as um you know they did studies on basically as ease of ease of access for anything happens it, it gives a superstar effect so just like youtube as more people got access to youtube and it became better and more accessible for people more of the views go to the top uh, like one percent of yeah it's like 0 0.01 percent like more views are like it's very unequal it's it's even worse than inco income inequality and that's that's what happens with uh, males on social media as well because you know, unlike unlike um, when women tend to gravitate towards like uh, a certain like male profile, they're not going to go look for losers, you know. But yeah, exactly. men, men, they actively they actively seek fresh like female profiles, undiscovered woman. Oh, look, she has like she doesn't have like I, I had like normie friends that say like, oh, she only has like three hundred friends. That means I have a chance versus this girl has a doubt. Like that's how men. Like men yeah. literally seek out undervalued women in the market and like try to fish them out. Uh, women do the women do the exact opposite. They're more by their algorithms and by the way they view things. I mean, maybe it's not so much uh, them versus the algorithm how it plays out. They don't they don't do that type of stuff. So so that's that's how it's twisted in the uh, male female paradigm. That's why the, I think what's really going on with the human race is. Uh, the the non neuro not the those guys who can't be super neurotypical you can't you can't be like super extroverted like you're basically like we're gonna be out of the um, the genetic pool in like fifty years like it's it, that's yeah. what's going on we're having it's a genetic yeah. bottleneck for the introverted men 
again, not women, because women, introverted women have a premium in the market. Like men oh, seek yeah. those women out. It's, oh, it's, she's it's, introverted. It's she's a gamer. Yeah. And actually, those women usually have the highest body count. And like, so it's funny. But um, yeah, for men, I, I think that's what's going on. There's just going to be this bottleneck and um, you're going to be out of the uh, mating pool.